All right. Well, welcome back. We are going to, as I mentioned, open a 1996 Action Pack, which was, I think, as of 95, maybe, bought out. Maybe it was 96, bought out by Pinnacle. So, but it is known as Pinnacle Action Pack. And as I mentioned in my last video, when we were opening the 97 Tops Finest Football, this set was the first ever football card set that had diamonds in cards that you could actually get. Just a lot of people don't remember that. Now, this is a relatively inexpensive box. This is $35. Um, I actually kind of prefer that. Uh, for those of you that watched that finest box opening, that was pretty brutal considering how much money that cost. And we didn't get much of anything from it, so. Oh, apparently this came with a box topper. Had no idea, but hey, Brett Favre. Now I have a uh, 404, so they must have all been, I have a feeling that the box toppers are probably Emma Smith, Brett Favre, Dan Marino, and Troy Aikman. But there's that. And I will say I'm a little surprised. I, I guess not really. It was 35 bucks on eBay. And I'm sure, again, this is going to be my catchphrase for this channel. If you know, you know. When you see that, that's like Kmart, Walmart. <laughs> like $29.99 back in 1996. I... Should have figured this was not going to be a full 24 pack box. So pretty much 12 packs. So if we don't get a single thing out of these, we should not be surprised. But it'll still be fun to open. And hey, after the absolute raking over the coals that we experienced on the 1997 Finest box, I am more than happy... <laughs> to absolutely lose out on like $35. So this is still gonna be fun. As I mentioned, this was what made this set interesting. This is the first year that you got action pack cards with squared corners. They always used to have the rounded corners and you know, I, I love this set. Personally, I never bought a box of it, but I bought pretty much, when this came out, every allowance I had, I bought packs of this stuff. I love the way the cards look, the way they fell, and they actually had sharp corners, so they looked like normal football cards for a change. Uh, we got Jake Reed, Bam Morris, Mario Bates. So every single pack came with uh, a studs protector. Because if you were to get one of those diamond earring cards, they wanted to make sure that there wasn't really like a way to detect or search that in the pack. Obviously, if they didn't have that, you could probably push on the pack and figure out if it had, you know, you could like push on it and figure out, oh, that feels a little off kilter because there's a diamond protruding out of the player's ear. So every single pack had one of those stud protectors. Now, I never pulled a stud, but this guy here, I'm not even joking, the first ever pack of this that I bought, I got his 24 karat gold team card. It was so cool. And of course, that prompted me to, you know, buy pack after pack after pack, and I never, never hit anything even close to that. And of course, back when this set was released, you have to keep in mind, 1996, Brett Farr was he was rolling. <laughs> he had just won it, you know, NFL MVP. Uh, 1996, he would go on to win his first Super Bowl. Well, his first and only. Oh, gosh, we got Napoleon Kaufman. Studs protector. 
and I don't remember these, but Eyeing the Storm, it's not an insert card, just a, like a regular base. Well, hey, I'll take it. You got a, a base Jerry Rice, but at least he's a Hall of Famer, and I'll put him in my Hall of Fame stack. So, as part of my 90s collections, I have binders for all, like, my big 90s players that I collected, and I don't think I actually have that one. Uh, Kajana Carter, I told his sad tale in the... Uh, last break when we got him in the 97 finest not Charles Haley we got him in, he's a Hall of Famer and yeah so this is 96 and he did not play at all in 95 because he tore his ACL again I don't remember if it was the preseason or the um, or training camp but either way <clears throat> When you're a number one overall draft pick running back, you know, that was a bummer. Oh, that hurts. I've never pulled one of these. I've never even seen one. So, Action Packed, back in the day, they had a sculptor's proof where you could get it was made out of pure pewter and it was their you know it was their base card you know like if that was steve young the base card made out of pure pewter and the only way you could get those were through redemption because they're very thick heavy cards if you you can go on ebay right now and, and search 1996 action pack pewter and at the time steve young would have been probably one of the hottest quarterbacks he could have gotten outside of like Bledsoe and Favre just because you know and he was coming off of a you know six touchdown MVP Super Bowl two years prior big time Pro Bowl player and right here put your name address city and state can you imagine you actually fill this out and send it in you don't go on a website and like put in a redemption code or anything but and it, it, it's even embossed on the sculptor's proof. But that's a real bummer. I mean, I'll, I'll hang on to that for nostalgic factors, but to get, to buy like a Kmart or Walmart box and hit something like that back in the day, that would have been huge. Which also makes me know that we're not gonna see another single thing worth of crap the rest of this box. Brian Blades, Cordell Stewart, and Harvey, oh, hold on, Harvey Williams and Neil O'Donnell. Whew. Talk about some stink bombs. Again, I'm, I'm going to reiterate, it's a really nice looking set. Like, they, I will give Action Pack credit. They have nice full bleed that probably is 90s terminology. Like, the colors really pop. Really nice looking cards. And the fact they still are able to make them embossed. <clears throat> and keep to that action-packed brand. You know, it's pretty cool. Robert Brooks. Edgar Bennett. Another Dummy Studs. Wayne Corbett. And a Darren Woodson eyeing the storm. It's a pretty cool Quebec card. I just like again the photography of Action Pack. They they always did an incredible job. I've always had a, a personal like spot in my heart for Action Pack cards. Um, I never really got why they weren't more popular than they ever were but so we got tony martin jim harbaugh joey galloway i remember this card distinctly pulling that before 
you know, an Ohio State player, and I live in Ohio, so. But, you know, it was almost like he was sitting down there and the ball, like, bounced incomplete and it was kind of bouncing in his hand. And we got a Junior Seau eyeing the storm. So, so far, I think seeing eyeing the storm cards of Bruce Smith and Darren Woodson and Junior Seau, I'm going to guess that's like a subset for defensive players. That's my best guess. Oh, we got ourselves a Tom Brown. I'm just kidding. It's Drew Bledsoe. And again, if you know, you know. Drew Bledsoe was the hobby hero. The man for sports cards for football in the mid-90s. Obviously before, well, the Brady era began. So we got Jay Novacek, um, any Dallas Cowboys fan from the 90s appreciates Jay Novacek. He was a high quality, very reliable tight end. Gus Farah, we talked about him during the 97 finest break. Head butted a wall, not smart. Marshall Falk, one of the all time great running backs. Talked about him when we ripped Zenith, so I don't need to keep going into that. Michael Westbrook. And we are down to our final five packs. Like I said, I don't anticipate getting anything. The fact that we got one of these Sculptor Proof Redemptions. Um, I don't know. I mean, Pinnacle, yeah, they're all out of business. I was just thinking it'd be kind of fun to like reach out to them and be like, hey, I have this. You know. <laughs> Can I get panini points? <laughs> Which, of course, the answer would be no. So we got Mark Chamura, tight end of the Green Bay Packers at the time. Warren Moon. Talk about all-time great football players that never really got their respect and due. For the 1995 Vikings, I mean, he put up numbers that are like, Comparable to what Mahomes has done the last two years. Back in 1995. Incredible. Uh, Garrison Hurst. We talked about him previously. Chris Sanders. And gotta love it. Another Eye of the Storm. Rod Woodson. So I do like those Eye of the Storm cards. They're, they are pretty cool. I gotta like those cards. I mean, it's cool. I don't, I just don't remember them. I'm sure back in the, I'm sure back when I was ripping these back in 1996, I'm sure I was hyper focused on like, you know, the Bledsoe's, the Rice's, the Smith, Sanders, all that stuff. And I just did not care about defensive players, but you know, I, I grew up, I grew up as an NFL football fan. And have come to appreciate and love and respect defensive players. So we got our Bill Brooks. Oh, we got our Playmaker. See, and that's a nice looking card. Just a nice looking card. And it's embossed. I just... I don't know. You know, over time, I've already thought about it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to rip a box a week. And, you know, I thought to myself, like... Ah, uh, you know, the 90s only has so many boxes. So many boxes I'm willing to spend money on anyways. You know, I'm not going to get like 97 Fleer Metal for like thousands of dollars. Oh, nice. Derek Thomas. That's a nice card too. Rest in peace, DT. Um, <clears throat> But I'm also not going to open up like 1991 Fleer or 92 Pro Set. You know, stuff that like... Um, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste anyone's time. I'm not going to waste my life opening that stuff. So, ah, nice. See, that is just a nice looking TD card right there. Just nice. I mean, for 1995, like that photo. It's just See, even with only 12 packs, I feel like I'm enjoying this more than the finest. 
although I could never hit anything that could possibly be valuable like the finest football, Jeff Hosteller <laughs> still rocking and rolling. You know, little fun fact, dude won a Super Bowl, the 1990 Giants against the 1990 Buffalo Bills. Quentin Coriat, wow, I forgot, linebacker on the Indianapolis Colts, another eye of the storm. But yeah, Jeff Hosteller, he, whew, he was the quarterback for that team. Yeah, nice looking Shannon Sharp. Uh, I suppose when you're opening up 90s stuff, you're going to get Honda by Trent Dilfer. Just what's going to happen. Derek Lassick, nice. Little Thurman Thomas backfield mate. I'm trying to unstick this. I'd like to unstick it from a Diamond Studs card, but Tim Brown. Some nice little Timmy B. Ooh, and the Minister of Defense, Reggie White. All right, final pack. So we got Quinn Early. Hey, that's a nice John Elway. Again, I know anyone listening, you're probably annoyed at this point in time, but like, you have to understand, back in 1996, like, this kind of photography and how, like, when I say full bleed, it's like the colors are bleeding out, like it just pops. The photography and the quality of this football card is, like, unheralded at the time. Another Cordell Stewart. Oh, I actually hit a one per box insert. We got a Ball Hogs, Michael Irvin. Nice. Playmaker, ball hogs. These cards are cool. I I actually, currently, I have this complete set. Not that there's 12 cards in the set. I got the entire set already. This is one of my nostalgic, like, you can go on eBay and get the whole set for, like, 20 bucks. So I bought the whole set. But, you know, cool to get one insert card, considering that we got the Sculptor's Proof, which is, like, these might have been one in a case. <laughs> Um, but it's expired. And Curtis Martin. Uh, and just look how nice that looks. The red, white, and the blue. Beautiful. So um, I'd have to say so far out of the three boxes, the Zenith, the 97 Finest, and this, this only had 12 packs action pack set or box. This is the this is my most enjoyable rip. Just because, like, the cards are really beautiful looking. They're just nice looking cards. And they they really take me back to the 90s. With all the, like, you know, the action shots of my heroes and stuff. And, um, well, also, <laughs> like I said, I'm sure a lot of it goes down to, like, this was, like, this is 35 bucks. So, you know not not much of a like miss but uh and then we got that sculptor's proof which is pretty crazy and i didn't even know what these looked like i had always heard of the redemptions and i see people selling them on ebay and i've thought about picking up the emmett smith one just to put my emmett pc even though like to be honest they're they're kind of ugly looking cards <laughs> they you know they're like well, they're sculpted from pewter to look like an action pack card, so you can imagine. But, um, all right, I do not know what the next rip's going to be. I'm going to do what I do and kind of sleuth around on eBay and see what I can find that as long as I'm not, like, grossly overpaying, I'm going to buy something that, you know, kind of tickles my 90s fancy and, you know, rip it. Um, you know, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely have my eyes on uh, a lot of different stuff. So thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later. Bye.